What is up, everybody? This video is an update on me basically trying to push for getting spear hunting legalized in Alabama once again. Just recently, um, I went and met with the Conservation Advisory Board in Montgomery, and that was like the first step to push towards getting spear hunting legalized. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get the ball rolling. Um, and I just figured I would keep you guys up to date on what was going on. So years ago, um, I started a, on a trek of trying to spear a deer, a whitetail with a spear, and it was very tough. I'll just say there were two times that I missed, and those are the only two opportunities that I got to throw a spear at a deer, which is fine because it's hard. Like, it's ridiculously hard. But I'll read you what I, I read to the advisory board because the rules of um, what happens at that meeting is you get three minutes to basically say what you want to say. And this meeting was specifically for if you want to change anything about seasons or bag limits or you have an issue. I mean, there were people that were talking about trout fishing, running dogs, or some guy talking about raising bees and butterflies. We need those two, I guess. I get there, I'm the only one there like with me. There was nobody that went with me. And there were a bunch of people there and it was like us having to present this to like 16 board members. These are the people that make the rules here in the state. And so I, I didn't really know how it was gonna go because I'd never been to one. If you've never been to one, it's really cool if you're on the Outdoor Alabama app um, or the email thread, they'll send you some of the emails, but anyway. It was my turn to come up. I think I was like fourth in line and I had three minutes. So I had a lot to say in three minutes. I said, good morning. Thank you for your time and for all each of you do for the state of Alabama. My name is Luke and I reside in Coleman, Alabama. And my purpose for being here today is to hopefully shed some light on spear hunting and a push for getting it legalized in Alabama once again, specifically for a whitetail deer. So I got to like right there and the lady that was like typing the stuff, she was like, whoa, whoa, honey, you're gonna have to stop. I was like, oh God, what happened? She said, you're talking way too fast. She said, I can't type that fast. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. So I kept on. In the late 1990s, Alabama became the first state to legalize the use of spears for deer hunting. This of course ruffled feathers with the Humane Society, being that their intent is to eventually put an end to all hunting. Fortunately, everything must have stayed pretty quiet because spear hunting for deer remained legal up until 2018. This change put an end to a goal that I had tried to achieve for years, which was to spear a white-tailed deer. I wasn't necessarily given a clear answer on why it was outlawed, other than not wanting to cause issues with the Humane Society and animal rights activists, which is true, and I'll get to that in just a second. Now, if I may, I would like to address some thoughts that most people have on the topic of spear hunting. Some individuals, like those that make up the Humane Society, think that it's barbaric and that people are running around like cavemen throwing spears at animals hoping that they hit one. I was also stopped right there once again by the chairman and he said, Luke, I will give you 30 extra seconds if you will slow down and stop talking so fast. And everybody started laughing and I was like, I'm so sorry. And it felt super awkward, but it was fine. I said, spear hunters may be the most patient and responsible hunters in the woods. We take it seriously. This is because there are so many factors that must align in order to give or to even have an opportunity to take an animal with a spear. This is much different than a bow or a gun where you may have a major advantage no matter how far the animal is essentially. With a spear having a max range of about 10 yards, we actually make it harder on ourselves and easier for the deer. For anyone that thinks you can just run outside and kill a deer with a spear with, uh, has an extreme misunderstanding on the topic. Another thought that some may have is that it's unethical. This is a big one. Again, this is simply not true. Alabama spear hunter Gene Morris took over 500 big game animals with a spear and has a museum in our great state to prove it. That's a, the Spear Museum, if you're heading down south, going to like Gulf Shores or Florida, that you may have seen and you're like, dude, that's a Spear Museum. Gene Morris, that's his museum. He was like the, the guru of spear hunting. I mean, he, that museum is unreal. And um, he passed away a few years ago, but he killed over 500 big game animals with a spear, which is unreal. He talks about his experience in the Washington Post saying, and I quote, when I throw a spear, it's such a devastating blow. The massiveness of the impact and the killing power far exceeds any bullet or arrow. And I said, let me explain like this. 
No matter what weapon we use as hunters, we should make sure that we've practiced and are comfortable enough to take an animal with our weapon of choice. Spear hunting should be no different. It's extremely ethical. My spear of choice was, and would be, a seven and a half foot, two pound Samburu spear made by well-known Cold Steel, specifically designed to take down big game. And I said, my last thought that may come up is why? Why does this even matter? Why bring back spear hunting when there are only a few people doing it? To answer this, I can only speak for myself. I grew up learning to love the outdoors and respect everything God gave us. I grew up to love the thrill of the chase like most of you did. I grew up to love the challenge of successfully harvesting an animal and was encouraged by people like Gene Morris, who unfortunately I didn't get to meet, but it would have been awesome to meet him. Tim Wells from Illinois, the, aka the Slock Master, whom, funny story about that, there was a Facebook ad that Relentless Pursuit put up the other day. I'm not joking. I called the number that was attached to this ad. I thought, man, what if that's Tim? That would be awesome. I called. I was like, hello? Because somebody picked up. The guy said, hello? I was like, I saw your Facebook ad on Relentless Pursuit. He said, who's this? I said, Luke. He was like, oh, yeah, this is Dave. He was like, thanks, man. This This has been a problem. And he hung up. I got off the phone. and I was like, that was freaking Tim's voice. I text that number. And I said, okay, LOL, is this Tim? And he said, yes, with laughing face. I was like, there's no way. He's like, how the heck did you get my number? I've had like over 300 calls today. I said, bro, you've got a Facebook ad with your number on it. I sent him a picture. He's like, what the heck? So anyway, I told him I was going to keep his contact in case I got any trouble here in Alabama. So I have Tim Wells Wells contact in my phone. So if he watches this, I, I brought up your name in the meeting. Uh, I said I was encouraged by people like Tim Wells from Illinois and a lady named Angie, who I actually talked to personally. Um, This is a lady out of Nebraska. Um, She is a spear and machine. She's hunted with Tim. And I was, I I called her just to kind of pick her brain or text her and kind of picked her brain a little bit on like what the Nebraska rules and regulations are because Nebraska they allow spear hunting for whitetail deer and she spears whitetail deer. She's, I think, killed like nine with a spear, which is awesome. But I said, these are all people who have proven to take uh, take deer with a spear to prove that it is possible and can arguably be one of the most challenging yet rewarding and most ethical ways of hunting. So that's the update that I have. Basically what happens is you have this meeting where you present what you want to present. I presented that I want spear hunting back for whitetail deer and they have about a two month period where they'll take the info, they'll talk about it, they'll meet about it, they'll study the info and get as much information as they can on the subject. And then in May, they'll have an update meeting um, that they'll, they're supposed to send me the times and the dates and the location soon. So. This is part one. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm hoping to get this ball rolling. And again, I'm one of the very few, I don't even know of anybody else that's spear hunting. So if you guys are spear hunters or are like, dude, heck yeah, I'm with the trad gear, then shoot me a message. I've got a petition that I shared on Facebook where I'm just basically trying to get as much traction as I can on the topic. So I'll keep you guys updated. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I I just really, really, really hope that they open it back up. I mean, if anything, maybe open it up, get a permit. I don't really know. I just, I want to be able to get that goal back, back going. So thanks for watching. This is part one. Be sure to keep updated, um, for part two, I'll be, I'll be turkey hunting before then and fishing before then. So be sure to check out the videos on the channel because I'm sure we'll be killing some turkeys soon. Love you guys. Appreciate you. You're awesome.